Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Simmons, the Team RG. You already know we in the building. Hope everybody had a good day, because I didn't have a good day today. <clears throat> and I've been frustrated all day. All day. I'm going to tell you why I've been frustrated. Well, it started off good. And I'm doing this video because I know... Um, a lot of my videos, I'm on my positive stuff. But I'm like, you know what? Let me even, let me talk about the days where I'm just highly pissed off. You know? Like, to to let all the, the new drivers know that tomorrow will be a better day. Tomorrow will be a better day. But as far as today go, ah, oh, today was... Today was hell. Today, it was... Y'all, I was so... I've been frustrated all day, like... Alright, so this is how it starts. So I got up this morning. I got down here to Laredo, Texas. And I delivered <clears throat> my load. So I got there. I had a 10 o'clock appointment, so I had to be there by... So I got there about 9.30. Everything is good, you know? Um, I get there, and it's a... I guess he's a driver that goes across the border. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, I'm like, do you, you know, I got out because I just ain't want to go around him at the gate because I saw a sign said something about checking with security, but I ain't seen no security booth. So I'm like, do you walk in and check in? He's like, you know, go around, go around because he was going to slide his tandems. So he's just like, yeah, 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 you go around. You know, so I'm like, all right. So I go around, I blow right by. I ain't see the security booth sitting on the side where his tractor was. So I go in there, the yard dog stopped me. Hey, hey, did you speak to security? I said, no. You know, I just came in. I ain't see security. So, you know, um, I'm like, I'm showing him the paperwork. I'm, I'm like this. Like, you know, where's checking? Because as a lot of y'all will learn, if you don't know, when you come down to Laredo, a lot of people right here is close by the Mexican border. So a lot of people, it's not speaking English. They know some English. And, you know, you can tell they understand some of the things you're saying. So I'm like, all right, here we go. So he was like, you know, um, do you turn pull right there? So I was like, okay. So I did that. I walked to the booth. There was a driver ahead of me. So the guy in the window was like, hey, man, you just blew by. I said, well, it was a driver sitting right there. And I asked him, do you walk in? He was like, no, 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 just go ahead, go ahead. So I'm like, all right. So he was like, yeah, man, you just blew by. I was like, I didn't even see the booth sitting here because the other driver was there. You know, so he was like, yeah, well, you can't listen to none of these drivers because, you know, they don't know what they talking about. So I'm like, all right, but so let me roll my window down because I don't want to idle. Um, so he's like, yeah, don't listen to none of these drivers because they don't know what they turn them out. I'm like, look, my first time here, I'm just trying to get my load delivered and that's it. So he's like, no, 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 I know, I know. So I gave him the paperwork and he's like, all right, we don't got a door. You got to... 10 o'clock, excuse me, you got a 10 o'clock appointment, and it was like 9.54 this morning, it was a 10 a.m. appointment, so it was 9.54, so he was like, all right, wait in your truck, we'll let you know when to come back, so um, I go sit in the truck, he waved me to come back a few minutes later, and I go back, and he says, he says something, he's like, um, yeah, we still don't got a door, so you're going to have to wait. So I'm like, all right, whatever. You know what I mean? And I went and got back in the truck. And, you know, just from the first time being at the booth and we going back and forth about me going by the security booth, you know, I kind of had, gave, like, just the way he came at me, I came right back at him, you know, so I was like, Listen, look, I'm just here to deliver my load. This is my first time here. I ain't see the booth, you know, 
it was an honest mistake. So that that's where the shift in the universe changed. You know, that's when I'm like, yo, listen. First of all, it was already a tight place. The place was tight. The concrete got crater holes. So if you can't just drive fast in there because you can scrape the bottom of your truck. I'm like, yo, really? So I'm like, all right. Get back in my truck. So I'm already tight about how the location is. I can back up and get in the door. You know, it's a tight place, but it's enough for me to jackknife it 90 degrees and do a 90 degree back with the tam that's pushed all the way to the back because for a lot of y'all that's coming in the industry, <clears throat> you're gonna learn this rule. When you push your tandems all the way to the back of the trailer and you're backing up, it's a faster reaction for the trailer to turn. When you pull the trend, the tandems closer to you, it's a slower reaction going back. So, um, I get back in the truck and I'm like, yo, all right, whatever. I get back in, Put my key in the ignition, and y'all know I have my um my radar thing hanging. Like I have it like this because I always put my key in my pocket, so it hangs like this in my pocket outside my pocket. So when I put the key in the ignition, man, I I just got in and just being frustrated. Just that slight little frustration. Um, I break the key in the ignition. Right? So, this part. Let me see if I got me a. Uh, do it like this. This part of the key <laughs> is in the ignition, and I got the key on my ring. So, I'm like, so they're like, oh, can you move your, one of the yard doors, can you move your truck? We got to get to some empty trailers. Because I'm not in the dock door. I'm blocking some of their empty trailers. And the, and the yard dog is like, oh, can you move? Um, We trying to get to some trailers. And I'm like, Baba, I can't even move. And he's like, oh. So, what happened? One of the yard dogs had to put his yard dog truck in behind my trailer. I had to release my brakes. So he can put the yard dog truck in reverse so I can sit and go ahead and he can push me forward so I can park off on the side and out the way so they can get to the trailers. So I call my I call where I'm I'm working at and I'm like, listen, we got a problem. And it was like, what's the problem? I said, I broke the key off in the initiative. So, they was like, all right, let me get you down to the shop. So, they call, we get down to the shop, and, you know, the shop guy's like, yo, where you at? And I'm like, I'm down in Laredo, Texas. And he's like, oh. And he asked for the address. I gave him the address. He's like, man, you down there in the middle of nowhere. Now, I only have one key to my KW. Now, how I'm moving. I'm not even unloaded yet. So I'm like, damn. You know, it was just, it just, damn. I'm in this tight place. The concrete is beat up. Me and security was slightly added. And now my key's broken. Now, where the hell am I going to get a key from? Man, so I speak to the shop. There's like, oh, take this number down, call here. These people's close these call these people. I call and I forgot what it was called. French truck service or something like that. Um let me see. I'll tell you right now, because I got the receipt because so yeah, French Elson Truck Center. Down in Laredo, Texas. And 
I called. They was like, I said, listen, uh, they, you know, they. Oh, I, I said, listen, I broke my key. Then my key in the ignition. I need um, a key cut. So he was like, okay, what kind of truck you got? I'm like, I got a KW 2017 um, T68. So he was like, okay, I give him. There's a number that's on your key. Like my number here is like P0063. That's the that's the number engraved on the key. So it was a KW shop. So I'm like, man. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, he was like, um, where you at? So I told him the customer I was at. He was like, all right. Um, he was like, man, I ain't even got no runners to bring you the key. You got to come over here. I'm like, I have no way to get in over there. So then my brain says, wait a minute. There's Uber down here? And he was like, yeah, you can get an Uber. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get an Uber. I'm on my way. So I went back to the security booth. And, man, you know, here's a lesson that you should keep in mind. Be nice to certain, be nice to people because you never know we're going to need them. So, one of the guys was like, hey, man, you know, I'm like, hey, I'm getting ready to go over here and get a key cut so I can move the truck. So, he's like, hey, man, you know, if my if my partner take you, you know, can you just buy us like, you know, a, a soda or something? I'm like, yeah, sure. Ain't no, ain't no problem. So, the other security guard, the security guard took me. We got in his car. And, you know, I told him we was going to, uh, what was the address? 8043 uh, Milo Road or something. He took me to another place. I'm like, no, 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 that's not the place. So we had to backtrack. It was only seven miles down the road. So I was like, all right, went in there. And I went in there and I was like, hey, you know, I saw the secretary. I said, yeah, I need a key cut. She was like, all right, yeah, just go over here. So I paid and got two keys cut. So I got two keys I paid for out of pocket. The bill was $34.25. So um, it was $8.32 for the KW blank which was two blank keys. They was blank, which, you know, blank is like they didn't have the grooves in them. And then um, to trace and cut the key was $15. So the tax was $2.61. So I spent $34.25. I bought the two guards. Um, I bought each of them a soda and a, a big soda and a bag of, and two bags of chips. I bought myself a bag of chips and a soda and we went back and put the key in now as you can tell lesson learned right my strap is rolled up because i'm not going to leave it down no more because my foot stepped down on it and popped it snapped the key in half so that was the first half of the day so i get unloaded i get my pre-plan come over here I pick up a C.H. Robinson though. C.H. Robinson as a broker is the worst. It's the worst. I get over here. I'm going, got the load that's taking me to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I get over here. I get the lady the number. Oh, no, I need a pickup. I said, all right. I call C.H. Robinson. I speak to a lady. I forgot her name. Michelle, I think that was her name. I said, hey, Michelle, I need... um. I need a pickup number. So she gives me a reference number. She gave me two reference numbers and an order number. I'm on the phone in front of the security in front of the security booth to um try to pick this load up. No, that's not it. Uh where's the load going? I'm like, see the rapids, Iowa. And she was like, you know what the product is. So I asked the lady on the phone from C.H. Robinson, what was the load? She was like, oh, this is what it's going to be. And the lady in the booth is like, oh, well, I still need to pick up. So why you ask me? 
you know, ask me what the product is, but you're not going to be able to give it to me. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. I, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go sit in my truck. As soon as I get the information, I'll come back. Guess what? It's about 7.24. I've been here from... One thirty. I've been here one thirty from one thirty and seven twenty four, and I've been off duty for four and four hours and thirty minutes, thirty nine minutes. Now, my office, the office staff where I'm pulling for leaves by six. So I go, I sit back here. I'm in the truck. I'm idling for one because it's hot. Nobody gets back to me. So I wake up. I'm looking. It's about five o'clock. Now, before I call back the office, I'm on the phone with the lady from C.H. Robinson. Like, she's like, oh, well, you know. It's only three places that's handling loads because Florida's main office is closed. Um, I don't see no load number, uh, pickup number. It's going to be part of the trailer that came from Mexico. I'm like, yo, really? I said, is there detention on this pay? Uh, let me see. But I never found out if it was detention on the load because, for one, we, we end up getting in the topic of trying to find out what the pickup number is. So I'm like, okay. I send a free form. I said, listen, take me off this load. For real. Take me off this load. They call me. I call the office. They the phone line is busy. I'm like, yo, take me off this load. Oh no, we on the phone. We'll definitely get it. Okay. They get they'll definitely get it, right? Okay. So it's seven it's seven twenty four. I still ain't hear from nobody. Now, here's the dilemma. So I'm parked on this road. I'm in a residential not even a residential, sorry. Industrial area with nothing but warehouses. Now, I got a fridge, but I haven't got the Walmart. Ain't got no more milk, so I can't even make a bowl of cereal. I got some water, and I still got some, uh, what's the little pizza things you can heat up? I got, I got that. Pizza rolls. So, I'm like... This some bullshit. Really is. And I am highly frustrated today. And this is what you're going to do with in trucking. As an independent contractor and as a company driver. And I wanted to do this video because I know everybody see me doing my positive stuff. But I also got to bring you this side of the game. So you can be prepared for this. Now, I got three hours and twenty. 23 minutes. Now, I can sit here, drive, and go back to the truck stop. And Laredo, Texas got, a, I think it's a pilot and a TA. Or, I lock the truck up, get me an Uber, and go somewhere and get some food and come back. You know what I mean? So, um, it, it, it's, you know, today just ain't been my day. Today just ain't been my day. And you know what? That's why I said tomorrow will be a better day. You're going to have these days. You're going to have these old funky, just disgust. Like, you just can't wait till the day's over. And that's the type of day I had. I had one of them real funky, yo, you know, I, I was just spasmodic at at the office like yo listen we always dealing with an issue when it comes to ch robinson and they loads and then ch robinson all they all they loads is always heavy forty two thousand pounds like kill your fuel kill your fuel we'll eat your fuel up so for all of my new drivers out there for all of y'all that's looking to come in trucking 
be prepared because you will sit at shippers 14 hours, 15 hours, 20 hours. And you're a company driver, you can't tell them to take the load off you. Now, did they take the load off me? No, because nobody got back to me. But you best believe tomorrow is going to be some. What happened? Nobody got back to me. So y'all go home. Don't nobody get back to me and say, hey, you know, we wasn't able to get the number. You know, go ahead. Head to the truck stop or whatever. But it's all right, though. Because, see, they work for me. I don't work for them. That's the difference about being an independent contractor. Because you can turn down the load. Listen, I don't want that. Take it off me. That's it. But I just wanted to bring y'all this video. Because I felt it was important to do this. Because it was on my mind. And... Um, be sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell after you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can get notifications of when I do new videos and when I go live on YouTube, here on YouTube, and I will bring you another video, um, maybe not tonight, um, Maybe tomorrow I'll bring you another video, but I'm gonna go heat up my pizza rolls and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go watch some YouTube videos and I'm gonna I'm try to relax and just chill. So I holla at y'all. It's your boy since the RG Nation. You already know we in the building. We everywhere. Holla at y'all later. Peace.